So the question is, is conventional agriculture essentially equal to niche agriculture? Yes, it is. When we're talking about nutrition and safety, those two are the same. The only difference between the two is the niche agriculture probably has more of a feel-good, fuzzy story to go behind it. So the question I have is, do we throw away 100 years of agricultural investment? So many of you drive uh, very late model cars. Uh, I drive a, uh, a 2016 car. I love the technology that's in that car. Uh, I drive somewhere around 50, 60,000 miles a year with my job and, and, and family and everything else. Now, <clears throat> I would love to have a Model T or a Model A car, as you can see in this picture right here, to have. But I certainly would only want to use it if I wanted to take a Sunday afternoon drive or, or drive it to church on Sunday morning. But I definitely wouldn't want to drive it three or 4,000 miles per month or drive it on a daily basis back and forth to work. I'd want to drive something like this new car here. And so that's why I drive a new model vehicle because it has the, the comfort, it has the efficiency from a gas mileage. Back then the Model T didn't get very good gas mileage. Now I'm getting 28 to 32 miles per gallon in my vehicle. Uh, and so I'm using that technology because it's more efficient, but then there's also comfort associated with it well. The same thing, we have people and critics of conventional agriculture and, the, and, and agricultural technology that we have today in our crops as well as our livestock. They're saying, throw away all that technology and let's go back to the way it was 100 years ago. Uh, why would we want to do that? Uh, that technology has, has enabled us to have the most abundant and safest food supply in the world. And those are some things that I want you to think about as you leave the class today. Uh, it's predicted that we'll have to increase the global meat supply and in general food supply by nearly 50% in the next 30 years. That's huge. There's more people to feed. We've got to continue to find more efficiency, more technology that allow us to produce a safe product but doing it in a sustainable manner. So can we feed the current and future world population without agricultural technology? And the technology that's been developed by this university and other universities across the world over the last hundred years? And the answer is no. <clears throat> However, if some feel that natural, organic, grass-fed, however it is, is better, then let's raise it for them. Let's provide that product for them. Let's provide the story with that. So is it one or the other? And the answer is no. We need to work together to feed the world. <clears throat> and uh, we can depend on other countries for oil, but we better not rely on others to feed us. And that, that is a key component.